friends welcome to our website and thanks for taking your time to review this video on HVAC design and drafting um, demonstration what I've done here is I've taken an architectural drawing and I've picked up a corner where there is um, an office area which is quite simple and we have a VAV box zoned to serve these three offices and what I'd like to do is to insert some supply grills um, and connect these supply grills with the supply ducts and size them and draw the ductwork in a double line so I want to do that and then later on change the CFM on the grills and resize the ductworks and redraw the double line ductwork so let's get started to begin with I want to insert some supply grills in office number one so it is a supply grill as SG1 and I'm going to assume a CFM of 300 and as I insert it the callouts get automatically placed and the layer gets automatically assigned to the supply grill or the return grill or to whatever the um, disciplines are so in this case I want to place it at a ceiling height and the location is going to be on ceiling not on the floor connection types is a top side connection it's not a sideways and uh, the status is it's going to be new uh, obviously if you're doing a retrofit job and you have some existing grills you can go ahead and place them on existing lay existing you can tell the status of the grill is existing so it places on the existing layer so let's assume for right now this is a new grill and I'm going to be placing this grill in office area office 1 uh, the location of the grill I've just chosen uh, an approximate center of the room and um, if you have an RCP and uh, the architect asks you to pr uh, put the grills on their uh, preferences you can always coordinate and get those locations from the architects or you can suggest to them but for this demo purposes I'm just assuming a center point on the office area so I'm going to be copying this grill on the other two office 2 and office 3 so I'm copying that then 2 and then in office 3 so now we are done with the supply uh, diffusers placed now we want to also put in some return grills so we are once again go ahead and click our uh, diffusers uh, schedules and now the return grills I've turned them as RG1 and we are assuming a 300 return again the elevation is ceiling ceiling height normally takes as 8 foot or 10 foot as to how we set the program we can always change to whatever we want and the connection is going to be top and it is a new grill so we just hit OK and the point I want to choose is near to the doorways and again since this is a demonstration video we're just choosing an approximate location if, if you want any specific location we can always place those grills there so I'm gonna be copying this grill to the next two rooms office number two and office number three alright as uh, they are in yellow color and it's not that much visible but you can always customize the colors and these callouts to your company standards uh, due to the colors um, in the background is white so we might not be able to see the yellow color return grills but never mind let's go ahead and start the ductwork so we're going to start the ductwork from the VAV box 1 which is placed in here we're going to start from the midpoint and uh, we're going to go all the way in the corridor and then enter into the wall of the office room 1 
uh, here's some duct information you can assign the elevation heights to whatever height you want right now we're starting elevation we give 12 ending elevation is 12 and this is a supply duct airflow you can change the disciplines in here to exhaust outside air return or supply so we need supply right now and um, graphics we can do is this is a double or we can set it to a single or we can set it transparent but I want to show you how we do our double line duct works and the program is automatically predefined to set as double so we just leave that one there and horizontal alignment it chooses the center of the duct work whether it's to be on the center or to make it as flat on the right or flat on the left when spaces get tight we can use this option to design the duct work in that particular fashion so now we choose it to be in center and then the width of the duct work we just uh, leave it as 12 as the default but when we ask the program to calculate this obviously will change um, the shapes of the ductwork we can choose it round rectangular or flat oval uh, for default we just leave it in round and uh, we can always go back and change to whatever uh, default we want to set the starting ductwork to be in and even after you draw you always have an option to change each and every piece of ductwork to any given shape that you want and the material is hard and flex we don't want to have a flex on the on the main uh, branch so I'm going to leave it as hard duct status again you can choose existing or new and existing as uh, we discussed earlier if you want a retrofit job that has existing duct work you can put it under existing and the duct work places itself in that particular existing layer so you don't have to worry about matching layers or changing layer properties it automatically assigns to that particular uh, existing layer um, sizing method on the duct works we have uh, three different ways to do it constant velocity or constant pressure drop or static regain and uh, we like to have it in constant pressure drop with 0.08 uh, pressure drop per 100 feet and obviously if you have different um, uh, preferences we can always change this to one uh, or whatever the numbers that your company is uh, designing with um, so that's about the duct and let's go ahead and start to finish up the duct work and as I draw them the ductworks all get placed in proper layers so we don't have to worry about layer management um, so we've drawn our first ductwork up to office number one we're gonna do the branch duct to office number two uh, and it passes through this wall and again you can draw the ductwork wherever you'd like to and for this demo purposes we are just uh, picking some approximate location uh, that may not be the case when you have a coordination drawing you might have a lots of other services but uh, nevertheless you can you are under control you can choose anywhere uh, and to uh, anywhere to draw your ductworks uh, this is just a demonstration video of how we um, quickly design and draft ductworks and grills so now we have branched out for office 2 and office 3 now our job is to connect these diffusers to these branch ducts um, we're gonna do an end connection which is connecting this grill to this ductwork and notice how the connection happens and this is a default of flexible duct from the rigid ductwork connecting to the diffuser and the circle represents that the duct is going down from a 12 feet high down to the level of the diffuser which is placed at the ceiling height in this case I believe it's about uh, 10 feet now as we draw this it automatically puts in it in a 3d position so if you want to see a 3d view yeah we can do that uh, let's get and connected the office to diffuser to the ductwork and uh, let's 
probably extend the office number one uh, ductwork to a little bit closer and uh, maybe do a, a small elbow in here so, oh, let's uh, add a little bit of ductwork in here and then you can connect the end of the ductwork. I just thought it's appropriate to get the hard ductwork closer uh, to the uh, diffuser so that's why I did that. Anyway now we have completed our model of supply ductwork connecting to the supply diffusers and now I'm going to pull down my calculate button and ask the program to um, calculate the CFM and ask the program to size the ductworks and to calculate the pressures. So I'm going to hit this button here and choose the main supply ductwork. So watch in front of your eyes it's going to draw the ductwork in double line with sizes on top of the ductwork and the center lines are blue in color those doesn't come out when you plot the drawings those are for the program to um, understand that, uh, that there is a ductwork going um, in that elevation it is an, these ductworks are intelligent objects they remember the positions in x, y and z coordinates so now it has drawn the ductworks, flexibles and fittings and size them for us. Let's go ahead and zoom them to actually see uh, what the sizes are. And this is a 14 inch ductwork and the one at the top is a 10 inch ductwork. And obviously these uh, blue lines will not appear and just the colors will come out uh, in your final printout. Um, so that is the way that we design and draft the uh, HVAC drawings. What I'd like to show again here is to change the CFM on these grills and ask the program to resize the ducts and draw it for us again. Let's get uh, busy in doing that. Uh, <coughs> what we have to do is to query the diffusers and change um, query those diffusers and change the CFMs on those diffusers so right now it's 300 and we're going to change them to 400 on one of the diffusers and I'm going to change the office number 2 uh, to a 500 and again you can you can change it to whatever you want to I'm just uh, doing a demo we uh, demonstration as to uh, how easy it is for us to change and work with the program and so this one I changed to a hundred and now I'm going to go to my calculate button and ask the program to do all the uh, calculating the CFM sizing the ductworks and the pressure drop calculations so uh, let's do that. See, I haven't done, uh, I haven't erased or done anything to change the duct sizes. All I did was to change the CFMs on the grills and it automatically sizes and draws the double line ductwork in the X, Y, and Z coordinates. And we are done. So this concludes this video of how we do the uh, design and drafting work in HVAC. The return grills are there and obviously it's the same procedure as to how I did my supply grills and um, if I have to over uh, if I have to come in a different height uh, of on the supply ductworks I have just have to change my elevations at that point uh, so it just doesn't interfere with one another. So again we thank you for watching this uh, demo video and if you have any questions feel free to give us a call for your project. We'll be happy to give you a quote. Thank you.